Hi everyone, welcome back to another Bochi Not Macrame Not Series tutorial. My name is Nicole and in today's tutorial we will be going over a fishbone pico sennet. To make this pattern you will need four long strands of cord at about 100 centimeters long each. Fold the first cord in half and place the loop end down facing the top. Then taking the second cord in the center and just below the loop end of the first cord, we're going to make a square knot. So we're going to form a loop by taking the left cord over the right side and then we're going to take the left cord over to the right, the right cord on top of that cord through the back and through the left loop for a square knot. We're going to repeat this two more times with two other strands of cord underneath. I really like the look of this pattern as a layer on top of a wall hanging, but this will also make a great side strap for a plant hanger as well. Once all three square knots are made, we're going to pull the top two cords downwards. So the top left and right cords, and we're going to make a square knot, a fourth square knot underneath the third square knot. Repeat this pattern again, taking the next two cords up at the top and pulling them downwards and making another square knot underneath. Then we're just going to continue repeating this pattern several more times. If you guys enjoy step-by-step -step pattern tutorials or not tutorials just like this one, make sure you give this video a thumbs up so that I know to make more in the future. And if you guys are interested in seeing other step-by-step -step knot tutorials just like this one, you can check out my Bochi Knot Macrame Knot Series playlist or you can check out my 50 Knots and Sentence tutorial which will also include a free download link to my 50 Knots and Senates ebook. So if you guys are interested, you can check out the link up at the top here. Once you've repeated this pattern several times, this is what the end result should look like. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below and where you might use this knot in one of your macrame pieces. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.